In this video, we're gonna be monetizing our Amazon affiliate website further by adding some Google AdSense adverts and by starting to build an email list using MailChimp and Sumo Me. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. In this video, which is the fifth in the series on how to promote your Amazon affiliate website, which uh, came off the back of my other video on how to build an Amazon affiliate website, we are going to be monetizing our websites further by adding some Google AdSense adverts and by starting to build a mailing list by collecting email addresses using a nice subtle pop-up. But before we get to that, let me give you a quick update in terms of where I'm at with the Zombie Merc website. So far, uh, no commissions as yet, and traffic is kind of, it's okay. Uh, I'll put the analytics up on the screen now. You can see traffic's okay, but I think a lot of that traffic is coming from YouTube. <laughs> People that are obviously watching the video and then come to have a look at the site. So, hey-ho. Um, but as I talk about at the end of this video, it, that could be because I didn't research the market as well as I maybe should have done. Uh, which is kind of a, a point here and a question that I got asked the other day on YouTube in terms of how do you um, decide which market you're going to put your Amazon website. Uh, and that's a good question and you should probably do quite a bit of research around that in terms of uh, what people are looking for, size of a market, competition, all sorts of things. All sorts of things that um, I didn't do when I researched um, zombies. I didn't even research zombies, I just liked zombies and I just went for it and I assumed that there would be a market. And I'm sure there is, but I don't know how big it is and I don't know how much competition there is. But hey, i am um, gone off on a tangent there, but I think, yeah, the message is uh, maybe do a little bit of research if you're gonna build an Amazon affiliate website. And my other tip would be to also go for products of a high value if you can. So for example, if on the zombie site we're selling books and games and, and toys, which is great, but you know, the average order size is probably gonna give you $20, $30, and you know, when you're getting 5% of that, that is um, you know, $1.50, whatever, maybe not even that. Whereas if you're promoting, you know, widescreen TVs or washing machines or whatever stuff that's four, five hundred dollars, maybe even more, or pounds or whatever currency you're in, you're obviously going to earn a bit more commission from uh, fewer sales. So uh, just another tip there. Other things I've been doing on the site, obviously, um, is the social media, which we covered in the other videos. Um, so you know, adding things to Pinterest and Twitter and all that. Probably not as much as I should have done. You know, I've been busy with other things. And I've also been adding um, blog posts to the site. Um, I've still got a couple left that I need to add and you know tidy up and whatever. So they'll be going up very soon. Um, unfortunately, I do have um, a kind of a day job and clients and other things, so I can't spend all my time on this, uh, which is a shame because I'd love to uh, do YouTube all the time and you know affiliate websites, all that kind of stuff. Uh, hey, maybe sometime in the future. But in, I think that's enough for me. I've been rambling on for far too long. Um, I do appreciate all the support, I wanna say. Um, I've been getting some great comments on YouTube and I've been doing my best to try and answer um, specific questions if people email me and comment me. Um, but because my videos seem to be kind of gaining a bit of popularity nowadays, um, the amount of comments and questions I've been getting has also increased. And uh, it sometimes can be a struggle to get, uh, get through them all. But as I say, I will try and answer all of them, uh, but just bear with me if it takes a couple of days. Anyway, let's uh, get started and set up some AdSense and um, start collecting some email addresses. Let's go. Okay, so I'm over at Zombie Merc, obviously the site that you're familiar with. And while I've been away uh, in between videos, I've added another blog post. Um, this one here, the video games, and it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I've also added a few things to the sidebar. So um, just a couple of widgets really, just to liven up a bit some products there. I'll show you how I did that. Basically, if you go into uh, widgets, you got your blog sidebar here. What I've done is use the uh, WooCommerce products widget. This one here, you can just drag it up like that and then you can select uh, what you want to do. So I guess this one could be recent products. And obviously I've got featured and on sale. And you've got a few more options there that you can play with. Let's have a look what that looks like. But what we're gonna do right now is add um, an AdSense ad to the very same area. This sidebar here, so there's the recent products. But I think at the top here we can add a nice um, 
add unit, maybe a square one or a long one or, or something. So the first thing I do is go over to AdSense. Um, you need to obviously sign up with AdSense if you haven't done so already. And I'm gonna go into my ads and I'm gonna go new ad unit. I'm gonna call it zombie ads. And I think the size of ad I want is, um, well, we'll go for the automatic size. Um, that one's not going to fit, is it? But um, yeah, I think we'll go for the responsive, see what comes in. If it's not looking too good, then um, we'll try something else. I mean, maybe just like the medium rectangle actually might be fine. Let's go for the medium rectangle, be perfect. You can have text or you can have display. I like just have display. I think they look slightly better, hopefully. And that's all I'm going to do now. I'm just going to save and get the code. So this code here, I'm just gonna copy it to my clipboard. I'm gonna go back to the website, go to widgets. Then back to the blog sidebar. And what we're gonna do is add a text widget the top there. I'm just gonna paste that code in, click save. Let's go back to the website, have a look. Let's have a look at this blog post. Okay, there's nothing there right now and it will take a um, five or 10 minutes for Google to approve it or whatever Google do. Um, what I am gonna do is just add a title though above it. So in here, I'm gonna just put sponsored or, yeah, sponsored links. Just like that. So yeah, let's wait a few minutes and see what happens. And here we go, yeah, it took five, 10 minutes and there is an ad that's appeared and that's a remarketing ad. I know that because I went to Domain Monster just earlier today. Um, so yeah, there we go, doesn't look too bad. There's some AdSense and obviously you can add as much AdSense as you like. Um, cover your site with ads if you want or just keep it subtle and, um, and stylish. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do um, to monetize the site further is to start collecting some email addresses um, Obviously, if you build up a list, you can then contact those people in the future, you know, that they're into zombie stuff and, you know, you can send them some great zombie content via email with obviously affiliate links or whatever else you want. So um, a good way to do that is with a piece of software called um, MailChimp, which I'll head over to now. I'll put a link up on the screen. Um, it's basically MailChimp.com. Um, I'm not sure if I have an affiliate link. If I do, I will put the affiliate link up, um, but obviously you don't have to use it, it's up to you. Let's log in. I think I've already created a list actually. Um, oh, I can't remember my username, hang on. I only just hate username and passwords. It's just like too many to remember. We're in. Um, but one day in the future, you'll be able to log in with your eyeball, won't you, or your face, which will be the... Good, anyway, I digress. So yeah, you need a list, so I'm... Um, under this. I've already created this zombie merc list, so that's good to go. Um, so yeah, I think MailChimp is pretty much ready. Obviously, if you're using another email provider, maybe Aweb or whatever, it's all gonna be very, very similar. Now, what I wanna do to add a kind of simple pop-up um, to the site is I'm gonna use a plugin that I've seen around the web. Uh, it's called Sumo Me, and I've not actually used it before, but I've heard some very good things about it. So hey, now's as good a time as any to give it a try. So I'm just gonna do a search for Sumo Me. It has got quite a few free features, and uh, oh, actually I've already installed it when I was doing a little test earlier. So yeah, install this plugin here, Sumo Me, which I have done. And um, I then just need to go and activate it. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I've seen it around the web. It's got lots of free elements to it, but it's also got some premium elements as well. Um, so you can kind of get as much out of it as you want. So I'll activate that. And it adds this kind of little thing over here. Now, I'm already signed in, you will need to register. It will tell you to do it, you just need to put an email and a password and then you'll get to see this little screen here. And if you go to Sumo Store, you can install lots of different things, um, whatever you fancy. And you know, maybe we'll uh, we'll go through some of these in 
um, in future videos because um, I hear it is a really good way of, of building up your list and your traffic and, and all sorts of great things. So anyway, the first thing I've installed is this uh, list builder, which it says installed. For you, you just need to click it and it will install it and then you're done. I'm gonna open it and it kind of shows you how many um, emails you collected, all sorts of great things. So it's already active, let's go to the design. That's fine. Now there's loads of templates in it, but they are premium. So you will need to, if you fancy one of these, um, upgrade as it were. But I think the free one will be fine for now. And you know, maybe if you wanna do something fancy in the future we can. Hey, you can change the colors and all sorts. So uh, zombie stuff by email. So I'd say free and be the first to get cool zombie stuff straight to your inbox Gah! in a zombie way um, let's change that color to um, a green I like green that's good uh, you can change it if you want enter email that's fine Success button, subscribe now, continue. Good, so let's click save. Okay, you got some other things here. You can add more fields like name and whatever. Email is probably um, probably fine, just have email as it is. Okay, so you can uh, decide when um, the pop-up's gonna be. It's smart, so it, it does the best time automatically or you can set to manual and you can you can start playing around whatever you like um, yeah I don't care about saying those change basically there's quite a lot of stuff going on here which um, which is really cool so you can uh, have different rules for when you want to show the pop-up when you don't want to show it so like show a rule when someone opens a certain page whatever I don't want any of this fancy stuff to right now I just want it to pop up whenever it wants to and collect some email address for me the next bit we do need to set up is this services. And I said I've got MailChimp, but it works with all these others. Loads of them. Um, but MailChimp's popular, and it's also free MailChimp, up to a certain number of sends and subscribers. Let's click connect. Sign in. Oh man, just give me a password that I remember. Hey, we're in. <laughs> so that should then connect it. Oh, and then we need to select the list, which is the zombie work one, and let's leave that as it is. You need to double opt in, really, which basically means when someone signs up, Mailchimp sends them an email, and then they need to click that email, and then they're in. It's better to get to do that than you've got a good quality list. So I think that's all set up. Let's go to the front of the website and have a little look. Now, I don't know when it's going to pop up, to be fair, and it might not pop up because I'm logged in. So let's log out. And let's just click around the website and see what happens. Why is that there? Ah, I shouldn't really... I wouldn't have thought... Hey, but there's the box. Perfect. It's working. I'm going to put my email address in. And we'll just find out what that little blue box is over there in a minute, because that should only really be there for admins, you'd think. Let me just try a different browser, just just in case, it because it knew I was the admin or whatever. Okay. That's kind of weird. I'm not sure if I like that. So it allows you to log in, and it's always kind of floating there, and it, whatever. Um, I'm not keen on that. So let's just see um, in the settings. No badge, don't want that badge. Oh, bye. Ah, uh, but you can install an extension into your browser, which um, could do it. So let's do that. So there we go. It's up there. Look, so I can 
reload this and that little thing will go a bit weird. But this little thing up here brings it back. Perfect. Okay, so I hope that video has been useful. Um, and indeed, this whole series of videos hopefully is useful. Um, you know, I'm not earning the commissions that I'd like to be right now on uh, on this website. But hey, it is early days. And I probably need to look into my niche a little bit more because maybe I picked zombie and it was off the top of my head just because I liked it, but I never actually did any research into whether um, you know it has many searches. So I might have picked a niche that's, that's not particularly popular, which may be you know, my main problem. Okay, in my next video, um, we'll have a look a bit further at this um, Sumo Me. I'll have added some more content and done some more social media stuff as well in the meantime as well, which hopefully will drive some more traffic. But in the meantime, I wish you good luck with your websites and uh, if you have any questions, all that usual kind of stuff, leave it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if, uh, if you liked it and if you want to find out about my future videos. And until then, I will wish you good luck and see you next time. Bye-bye for now.